Welcome to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil and I'm going to be showing you how to play on the piano Oh Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison. We're going to be looking at our very own intermediate level arrangement. So for those of you who may not be able to play the full, full part just yet, this is your stepping stone towards that. This is also a nice arrangement unto itself. It looks and sounds like this. Here's what you're going to be able to do by the end of this video. And that's where we're going to leave it in this video. I just wanted to show you that main part of the hook. Now, there's more to learn, and of course, if you want to learn more, you can tap this card above to take advantage of a free trial of our interactive app. And yes, I did say interactive. It grades you as you play. It's so fun and so cool. You guys got to check it out. No payment up front, so it's a free, 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 free trial. Please check it out. In the meantime, guys, Thanks for joining me for this video. I'm gonna be breaking this down for you for free in detail in this video. Let's get started with the right amp first. First, our key signature tells us that there is one note that is always automatically sharp. It's that one sharp symbol we see at the top of the treble staff line over there, the fourth line of the bass staff. It's F, Fs are all automatically sharp. That can tell us that we're in the key of G major, all right? G major's got one sharp in its key signature. And if we play from G to G with that one F being sharp, that's going to be the G major scale. So we're in the key of G major for this arrangement. Our time signature is 4-4. Four, four. That tells us four beats per measure. So now we're talking about rhythm and counting. And in the notation, we can see that line coming down through the staff forming boxes or measures, right? Every one of those measures gets four beats. That's how we're going to organize our rhythms. And each one of those beats is a quarter note. So a quarter note beat in this song. That's what 4-4 tells us. So let's talk melody now. We're going to put our hand right here. Here's middle C, by the way, just for reference. We're going to be actually in a G position just above middle C. So here's G. That's where our thumb is going to be. And for this excerpt that we're learning today, your hand will never move. This is the position that your right hand will stay in. So get your hand up now and try this with me. We're going to walk up one note at a time and back down. Now back down. That's a nice little warm up for your hand position if you'd like before you start this piece. Now let's try it again, but this time we're not going to play the top note twice. We're going to go up and right back down. All right, so that's our position. Let's get there, and now let's start to plunk out this melody. We can tell in the notes in the notation, we start with A, G, or 2, 1, right? The 2, 1 is referring to our finger numbers, second finger, first finger. And if we're in the right position, we push those fingers down, we get the right notes. Now we're missing two notes here, right? This actually starts in measure 11 of the full song arrangement. We're missing our pickup notes. Those two, right? Pretty. Then we play woman. Okay? So we're starting on woman here in the melody. And that's A, G. Next we have a tie to another G. That means hold it. And then we have third finger playing B again. Again, A, G. This time we're ending our phrase on B. Moving on. A, B, A, G. G, B, B, A, G. B. So guys, now I mentioned we're in a five finger position for this melody, but for this excerpt, we're only using the first three fingers of that position, the first three notes. This is a three note melody, which is pretty cool, right? Now that we've dove in and we've gotten into our position, we can see this melody is pretty accessible. So let's play it now in time. And that means, of course, we're going to play it with even timing, with even tempo. We're going to cue up a metronome, but actually, we're going to do more than that. We're going to cue up a backing track that sounds like the real song so we can play along. And we're going to do it at the slow tempo first before we try it at full speed. Let's do it. One, two, set, go. Okay, so slow tempo, 
There it is. And if you need extra practice there, just rewind and play back with me as many times as you need. But when you're ready, let's speed it up. One, two, set, go. Okay, there's the melody. Let's shift gears now and talk about the left hand harmony part. Let's get our left hand in the same G position that our right hand is in, but we're gonna be an octave lower. So here's where the right hand was. Here is the left hand. And our very first chord is a root position triad G major chord. Boom, right there. Pinky on G, third finger on B, first finger on D. Now, unlike the right hand, we're actually going to be reaching out of our five finger position as we switch chords, but only by one note. So our first chord is G. Our second chord is called E minor over G. We're just moving our top note up by one white key. The other two notes stay the same. The fingers stay the same as well. And in fact, that's what we're gonna be doing, toggling back and forth between these two chords. So G to E minor over G. Back to G, back to E minor. Get your hand up and try this with me, guys. Ready? Here's G major. Two, three, four. Now E minor. Two, three, four. Now there's just one more chord in addition to those two that I want to show you. We're still just moving one note, but it's a different note. So after we've done this a few times, we're going to end things here by moving our middle note up by one. That's our final chord. That's called C over G. Let's try this in time now. And since we're playing whole note block chords, by the way, if you don't know what that means, a whole note is held for the entire measure. Not a lot of rhythm. Just play it and hold it. And a block chord means we're playing all the notes of the chord at once instead of something like this. We're just playing. So because of those facts, I think we're ready to try this at the full tempo. But for those of you at home who are moving a little slower, that's all right. Slow tempo practice is always welcome as well. One, two, set, go. E minor, back to G, back to E minor. Now middle note up to C. Haha, <laughs> all right, so we've got right hand, we've got left hand. All we need to do now is put the hands together, but sometimes that can be easier said than done. So we want to really take our time here. Before we hit play in the app or start our metronomes, first let's walk through this out of time. We want to play this without the pressure of the even timing because we need to sort our hand syncopations. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to start with the hands together, right? The downbeat of this measure is together. Woman. But man, right after wa, right, man is on its own. So we have hands together and then right hand on its own. Then we have right hand, then hands together. We're going to want to walk through every beat independently and map it out. Do the hands play together or do they play separately? Now pause the video here and go ahead and do that for yourself because everyone can do that at a different pace. Meet me back here when you've done that and we're going to now try it in time but at the slow tempo. One, two, set, go. All right, final step, let's speed this thing up to full tempo. One, two, set, go. Yeah, you guys, we did it. That's how you do it. Another song section in the bag. If you guys want to learn more of this song or learn it at a different difficulty level, or just learn a different song. Whatever your piano goals are, you gotta tap this card above that says, what are you waiting for? Because it's gonna take you to a page where you can start a free trial, full access of the Playground Sessions interactive app for this much money, <laughs> zero dollars, all right? You got 30 days to try it and you can cancel any time for no payment. That's pretty cool and I know you guys are gonna love the app, so you gotta check it out. 
That's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining. If you have any requests, leave them for me in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video lesson. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Phil. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. And be sure to check out the Playground Sessions interactive app. It was co-created by music legend Quincy Jones. Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs.